Hey, Ness, hey, Blazing hey. Pasta. All right, anyway, game. Let's go. Ness versus Blazing Pasta. I mean, Ness is Blazing Pasta versus Parappa, who, who entered himself as Pepsi Man, but he is not that in the bracket. I mean, he is Pepsi Man, though. You can't tell him he's not. Wow, Ooh. such a pretty conversion coming in from Parappa all, straight off of the, the start. I mean, we were, we were expecting the Ryu, honestly, but I'm going to go for the Bowser Jr. this game. Yeah, I don't know if maybe the recovery isn't the best for Ryu, or maybe Ness is one of the few characters that can challenge him in the air. Um, all those may have played a role, but he did feel the need to go Bowser Jr., and currently it's paying off. Right there, though, Blazing Pots is starting some offense, starting to assert some of the dominance of his own. 3% um, differential because of it, in his favor, luckily for him. Yeah, man. Bowser Jr., one of those characters, and we've seen him a couple times on stream, but one of those characters has a really uh, quirky but also very good horizontal movement, right? He can he can use side B, but then also can jump out of it, so he still has that kind of start and stop. It's really hard for him to actually clip, clip him in the air with an aerial unless you expect to know where he's going. Yep. Very and very safe attacks as well. Yeah. Both players right now not wanting to commit Ooh. to anything, and actually Parappa kind of being the first one to say, I know what you're going to do, jumps at him, gets the jab. But he still, you know, didn't quite get the lead off of it. Great back air right there. Uh, I'm going for the up air. I feel like if he were just going for a simple nair, it would have connected. Can he recover? He does make it back just to fall into the back throw trap. Great stuff by Blazing Pasta with that positioning. Uh, Mecha Koopa on deck. Gonna get shielded right there. Now, I really like what Pasta is doing. You, you can tell he's not the most familiar with the character because he's not punishing everything. But if he's not sure, he just leaves the situation. You see him back roll and say, you know what? Reset the situation because I've been winning neutral enough. Big if Thunder going to whiff right there. Pe Pepsi Man for Parappa. Ooh, what a clean conversion right there into the up B to the, uh, the aerial outside of the cart. And, man, you shook. The, I mean, I'd be scared, too. I mean, I mean jumped out the cart to hit me. Yeah. That was real. Wow. Oh, so Rappa just hit. trying to go for a couple tricks. It didn't pay off, but the jab afterwards did connect. Sorry, the down tilt. Blue tries to get an anti-air. Blazing Pasta sneaks by it, though. Starts getting a forward air of his own because of it, actually. Blazing Pasta trying to space it out. Use some more of his defensive tools. Not wanting to commit. Great nair right there. Saw the opening when the Koopa was dropped. Yeah, the Mecha Koopa out is actually... One of, one of Bowser Jr.'s best tools, you know, he's able to effectively cover a large area the entire stage with, it, it's just pressure. So, so you have to, you have to, you can't ignore it because if you ignore it, you're going to get hit and then he's going to confirm off of it. And we've already seen that Parappa has confirms from almost every angle off yep. of that Koopa. And so you got to, you got to ignore it. Yeah, including <laughs> upbeat, man. He doesn't care. Ooh, oh, the fork. Such a bait. Blazing Pasta thought there was an opening. There wasn't no. one. And uh, Parappa trying to end it. You know, a little overzealous, but with that said, he, was, he wasn't he was winning the neutral, you know? And he was bit by bit losing more and more of the percentage gain, so he said, I got to go for it all. Now, there was actually a video by Beefy Smash Dudes which showed the easiest way to punish that is actually jump by him with an air dodge and then jump behind him. And that will allow the PK Fireball to actually hit you instead of Ness, and then Ness will ah. lose the stop. To avoid a situation yeah. like that. Yeah. The next best thing would have been a beautiful tech right there. <laughs> I mean, that would have been, that, that been the best tech of all time. Like, like that quick? Oh. Now, Parappa not feeling like it was a character issue. Maybe he either needs to make some adjustments or he just wants a different, likes the stage with more platforms. Yeah. The horizontal, the movement from Bowser, or Bowser Jr. specifically in the air is going to really benefit on these platforms. Man, he can move platform to platform almost seamlessly uh, without even burning his jump, really. So... Great stuff coming Ooh. in from Blazing Passer right now. The edge guard is beautiful. He is relentless right now with Nair after Nair up B into Nair. Pepsi Man, I'm going to call him that from now on, finally does manage to land on the ground, get his feet there. I mean, all right. <laughs> Blazing Pass is definitely a, more, a fan of Coke products for right now. <laughs> Pepsi Man's actually in a very a precarious position now, and he needs to find a way. He hasn't found a way to uh, open up. Uh, Blazing Pasta, he's just out here just fishing. He's getting punched right there. The back are going to connect yeah. and not going to do it. Love what Blazing Pasta is doing. He keeps jumping at Pepsi Man with his back, knowing that back air is an option. Uh -huh. But the F smash does come through. It connects and takes the stock. First blood coming in. Pepsi Man's favor. Row, row, fight the power, man. Those drills out here so safe. But he fires right back with another back air. And like I was saying, Blazing Pasta keeps jumping at um, Bowser Jr. with his back to him so that he has the back air option. And if 
He sees that Pepsi Man backs up too far. He just goes and says, you know what, man? A side B, nice safe damage if it connects. And there is coming through. Blazing Pasta untouched on this stock. Relentless on his pursuit at that. Ah, okay. Did not connect with the back air, but that he would have... I don't know if he waited or jumped a little higher or waited, but, uh, you know, that, that looks hot. He does have the Mecha Cooper, but it does not pay off. Eats an up air because of it. Blazing Pasta trying to bait something out, not getting the opening and taking some damage because of it. One of the scenarios that I see right now, Blazing Pasta, uh, I mean, not showing that he is always considering normal get up as an option, but the up B, once again, that confirm is so clean. It is. Every time it looks pretty. And we've seen it twice already. Yeah. Not clipping that back air right there. And again, Short. the Nair, it just keeps catching Pepsi Man off guard. Ah, opting for the forward smash. He doesn't even choose to go for the up B. He did recognize that Pepsi Man keeps side B and using that super armor to avoid the PK fireball. Um, knockback at least. This is a very precarious position. I mean, don't let the percent fool you. Both these characters are in KO percent. That throw will just be for stage control, mainly. Let's get up. He's Ooh. looking for that F smash. He knows that Pepsi Man might throw it out. It is relatively safe. At the same time, Pepsi Man is trying to avoid this back throw that Ness has ready for him. You saw him just attempt it right there. Does not can, does not get it. Oh, with the up air, wow. just drops down, takes the game. 2-0 coming in by play, Blazing Pasta over Parappa. I think I think pa Parappa actually. He did an up smash, I, and, and he actually traded with the up air. Um, I saw Koopa, him do the handstand. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I did see the Koopa hit him. The Mecha Koopa hit him as well. So that.